Hi there, my name is Anthony Damcott. Uh, this is Peter Griffin, really a family guy. This presentation was presented at the ECA conference this past March in 2022 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So, first things first, what is Family Guy? Uh, family Guy is a TV show, a satirical TV show written in 1999 uh, by comedy great Seth MacFarlane. Uh, family Guy revolves around this family, uh, the Griffins, there's Peter and Lois, their kids, uh, Stewie, Chris, and Meg, and their talking dog, Brian. They live in the fictional, fictional town of Quahog, Rhode Island, uh, and each episode centers around different antics and adventures uh, each of the family members get into uh, with their friends and as well as uh, just each other. Show went through two different cancellations after about four seasons, um, but has since rebounded to run 19 seasons, um, actually 20 now. Um, so Seth MacFarlane, the creator of the show, voices just about every male character in existence in the show, um, including Peter, Stewie, Brian, as well as their friend Glenn Quagmire and several supporting minor characters. Uh, Alex Borstein uh, plays Lois Griffin, as well as, again, other minor characters. Uh, Mila Kunis, uh, most popular for probably that 70s show, uh, plays Meg Griffin. And then Seth Green is Chris Griffin and additional voices. Um, Patrick Warburton um, has been around for a while. He plays Joe Swanson. Uh, the one that will be coming to question later on in this presentation is Mike Henry as Cleveland Brown, um, at least through 2020. Um, he plays other supporting characters as well. Um, there have been hundreds of other members, including staff members uh, who work on Family Guy, as well as guest appearances and guest actors uh, provide additional voices as needed. So I'll take this time to talk about satirical, satirical comedy and dark humor. Uh, satirical comedy is a form of satire in which humor and irony is used to make fun of mistakes of celebrities and leaders. Family Guy is very much uh, falls under that as well as dark humor, uh, which is a form of comedy that makes fun of a subject that may be too painful or traumatic uh, to joke about, too serious. Uh, Family Guy uses both of these, uh, testing the waters of race, class, and gender. Um, there's never a dull moment in any of those subjects for them. Uh, some jokes that they uh, make are uh, involve historical events such as the Holocaust, 9-11, uh, but in satirical fashion encouraging audiences to laugh more at the satire of the joke, not the event itself. Family Guy tries to make fun of, um, make a joke about something that revolves around the event, but tries not to make fun of the event itself. So 2020, yeah, that year. Um, one of the things among everything that went on here uh, in the world was um, the Black Lives Matter protests, uh, of course, with the murders of Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, and George Floyd, um, sparked national outrage in the U.S., leading to protests, uh, peaceful and violent throughout the entire U.S. and across the world, actually, in support of uh, Black Lives Matter. As these protests unraveled, several businesses, companies, TV, film industries realized that they might be contributing to subtle racism. Um, among things that were changed outside of media was, um, you know, there was there was outcry about Uncle Ben and Aunt Jemima, um, <coughs> stuff like that. Several businesses were tried to walk back on um, perceived racism. Uh, animated sitcoms specifically saw significant changes as a bunch of actors stepped down from voicing popular character characters uh, of a different race in various <coughs> shows. Um, including Jenny Slate as uh, young as Missy on uh, the show Big Mouth, Hank Azaria stepping down from voicing Apu and Carl in The Simpsons uh, in favor of casting people uh, of the same race and nationality for the role. Um, Jenny Slate and Hank Azaria are white people playing people of a different race. They stepped down in favor of uh, casting someone who was of the same race and nationality um, to make it a little bit more natural, so to speak. In comes, as we talked about, Mike Henry. Mike Henry is, again, a familiar voice on the show. Uh, he, in, he voices people including, at one point, Cleveland Brown, as well as uh, Herbert, Herbert the Pervert, Bruce, and uh, the Griffin's maid, Consuela. Um, during the protests in June of 2020, Henry did announce via Twitter that he would also be stepping down from his most popular role of Cleveland. Um, stating in the tweet that, quote, persons of color should play characters of color. Um, after a while, trying to figure out who would, who would replace him as Cleveland Brown, 
Um, they settled on a YouTube personality named Arif Zahir. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, he has a, he's a YouTube personality um, who basically all of his bits are doing Cleveland Brown imp impressions. Um, and it's close, if not dead accurate, to how Mike Henry portrays Cleveland Brown. He was chosen to uh, portray Cleveland Brown in the following seasons. So the question is, was that enough? The BLM protests also changed the way people view comedy and satire. People became more conscious about what is considered funny and what should be considered offensive. Season 19 of Family Guy was the first season that was produced following the protests, or at least following the brunt of the protests, uh, and continued the com satirical comedy that the show's always done, uh, but it felt different in the way it was presented due to that newfound conscientiousness. So, uh, I rewatched season 19 of Family Guy and made note of the satirical comedy, um, and as I, I should probably note, uh, the 19th season had already been produced by the time uh, Mike Henry had stepped down from the role of Cleveland, so Mike Henry is still the voice of Cleveland in season 19. Arif Sahir would take over beginning in season 20. So Family Guy um, is very much produced by a bunch of left-leaning um, people, including Seth MacFarlane himself. He has identified himself several times as a Democrat. Uh, he sports gay rights and the legalization of marijuana. Um, he is given to Democratic campaigns. Um, so due to that, the show tends to lean uh, left and make fun of uh, those on the right side of the political spectrum. Um, but the show criticizes the left just as much, um, which is what makes the show's theory of comedy work. The show's ability to make fun of everyone and everything is why their comedy works instead of just continually dogging on the right side or, you know, dogging on the left side, one side or the other. They do make fun of both sides. Um, one big scene that I found in the show uh, in, during that season was uh, the 2020 Nativity scene. Um, this was season 19, episode 9, which was called the first no L, meaning uh, no Lois, because in that episode, uh, Peter and his family um, are not really thrilled about just going out and doing Christmas this year, um, and Lois tries her best to get him involved, but then ends up walking out and saying, figure it out, you're on your own. Peter in particular is setting up the nativity scene following Lois's angry departure um, and is setting up obviously the nativity scene, but not the typical nativity scene that you would see um, as you're driving down the street. Uh, instead, it is a politically correct nativity scene that includes transgender representation and a reference to non-binary people. The intent was to poke fun at the activism that occurred throughout 2020, as well as bring light to it. The joke ends by poking fun of white men. When Chris asks Peter what his problem is, he asks when white people are going to be on top again. So the dialogue itself, Peter says, all right, time to put up the 2020 Christmas decorations. First ethnically accurate Jesus goes right here next to Father Mary and Mother Josephine, followed closely by the three genderless wise people on their bird scooters, Tig Nataro for some reason, and of course the little drummer then, because God forbid we call a boy a boy. And Chris tries to intervene and is like, Dad, are you, you know, are you okay? Are you losing your mind? Peter says, I don't like what the world is. I'm white. When's it going to be our turn? <clears throat> so, this moment alone does not show what kind of character Peter is. It really doesn't define how the show is. That's just the comedy of the show. Writers and performers of the show find humor by writing jokes that may make people cringe or upset regardless of political views. And since the Black Lives Matter protests, animated comedy has made attempts to do better at making more inclusive jokes instead of making fun of a particular race, class, or gender, sexuality, etc. Um, you know, so instead of trying to single out, like I said earlier, a single side of the political spectrum or, you know, singling out a specific race, class, or gender, um, Family Guy has tried to be more inclusive because there's satirical, they rely on satirical comedy, and if they just write those jokes out all together, the show would probably be canceled by now. Um, so that, that whole speech made fun of everyone on every side, and everyone probably got mad at some point, but ended up laughing in the end. Uh, then in season 19, episode 7, two episodes earlier, titled Wild Wild West, uh, Peter mentions to Lois that the late Adam West's cousin, Wild Wild West, 
uh, coincidentally I should point out, played by the great Sam Elliott, um, would be a good fit to take over as a mayor of Quahog, mentioning that he's a man, but not going into further detail, implying that he'd be better than Lois on the sole premise that he's a man. However, the following rant he goes on is extremely satirical as he proceeds to tell Lois that men have always run the country without any problems, then proceeds to list an absolute slew of problems that have occurred with men in charge. Again, McFarlane attacks both the left and the right with the speech. So, Peter says, besides, Wild West would make a great mayor. He's a man. And then Lois says, what does that have to do with anything? Peter says, because this is America, Lois. Men have always run things, and there have, ne there have never been any problems whatsoever. And don't say the economy, or Iraq, or income inequality, or racism, or Brett Kavanaugh, or air pollution, or Vietnam, or slavery, or Watergate, or capitalism, or hashtag me too, or homelessness, or police brutality, or homophobia, or Monica Lewinsky, or school shootings, or Native American genocide, or Fox News, or Tim Allen, or climate change. And then, kind of following along with the joke, Lois goes, well, you make a good point. So, this, this along with the nativity scene speech, shows that McFarlane is very willing to call out anybody and everybody in the name of satire. Uh, he even called out Fox News in that rant. Um, this is important and ironic because Family Guy airs on Fox um, every, every week, even to this day. The speech is so blatantly obvious that it's satire that it might be the key to making the show's humor work in the future. In turn, it could be what helps keep the show out of hot water with blatantly offensive content. Looking back on previous seasons of the show, the satire within it was not considered as offensive as it could be today. The show's already been heavily criticized for its gay jokes and parody of several famous celebrities. Season 19 suddenly became important to the continuation of the show because of the BLM protests. Offensive satire shows such as Family Guy were now on high watch with audiences to see if they would make a distasteful or offensive joke that may be taken differently than it was uh, the previous 18 seasons. So. In other words, if they make a joke, seasons 1 through 18, it would probably be perceived as satire or funny. Season 19 now, they got to be careful because now people might consider it offensive. So where do they go from here? Season 19 went off without any huge issues regarding offensive jokes. So the key to the future success of the show is the ability to stick with making jokes less offensive and more blatantly satirical, like so obvious that everyone can tell it's satire. If the show reverts back to its old ways of making jokes that are less clear in its satire, the show is going to come under intense scrutiny, like they as well as several other comedy shows did in the summer of 2020. It wasn't just Family Guy, it was American Dad, it was The Simpsons, it was, you know, it was Big Mouth, it was all these, South Park, all these shows, uh, satirical adult comedy shows that came under fire just like Family Guy. As long as the show continues to make blatantly satirical jokes like the 2020 Nativity scene and the Manly Mayor speech, the show will continue to be around for as long as its popularity lets them. Obviously being 21 seasons in now, I believe, who knows how long that popularity will last, but the show will not be canceled because of its offensiveness as long as they continue to be blatantly satirical. So, to conclude, to quote the great Peter Griffin, bird, bird, bird is the word. Thank you.